Hi, I'm Mike Maloney, and welcome to another CSRM podcast. Today's episode is hosted by Dr. Greg Linville. Hi, everyone. Welcome back to another CSRM podcast. Greg Linville here. and We've got other CSRM staff with us today, and we're glad to introduce some new folks and revisit one of our old folks. Well, he's not that old, but he's uh, he's been with us for a few years, and we're so happy that he's with us and all the other guys are with us. So we're glad you're with us. And if, you, if you're brand new to CSRM, uh, our whole vision is a changed life. And of course, that means somebody would come to Christ and, and be a dedicated disciple for life. And, and our, our way of getting there, for our mission is to equip local churches to go out and to do that through sports, rec, and fitness kinds of outreaches. And so for me, you're going to have to take it by faith that I was a three-sport letterman in high school uh, at this age. But uh, these guys have all been very involved in athletics, but also very involved in their faith and the integration of their sport and faith. And we're all now helping churches around the world. And with, with no further ado, uh, Dan Stouffer, just uh, welcome to the, to the podcast. Here we go. Greg, thanks so much for having me. It's, uh, it's been a while. I was trying to think about it. It's been at least six months that I, since I've been a part of a CSRM podcast and uh, very excited to be a part of it. Yeah, <laughs> just been a, a, a little busy, but uh, excited to be a part of today's episode. Thank you. Yeah, so you, you've been on the CSRM staff for a few years now, and you have been, uh, where are we at, a year, year and a half as the executive director, and you've, you've got a vision for this whole thing and where we're going and, and, and building off what we've had and all that good stuff. To just help people bring, up, bring everybody up to date with where you're at personally and where we're headed with CSRM. Yeah. Yeah, it's, it's hard to believe it'll be three years on staff at the end of this year, uh, so this uh, December, and then since September of last year, uh, I've stepped into this role of executive director, and Greg, you're, you're exactly right, just want to see the vision continue on, and uh, one of the biggest parts of our vision is to make sure that we're doing a great job of reaching those local churches, uh, especially stateside. Uh, with some of the resources and building those relationships through roundtables and things like that. We, we love to gather around with sports ministers. Uh, I'm doing that myself here in Columbus, and um, it's, it's been a real blessing uh, the last few years, just kind of growing that area. And so we want to see that replicated. And so if I could kind of boil down what we see the vision uh, continuing to be for uh, CSRM, it's to build relationships and provide resources for sports ministers. Um, so a lot of what we're doing is what we have done in the past. And I think coming out of COVID, uh, we've got a real good opportunity. So many sports ministers and churches are just ready for whatever is next and uh, ready to try to get their feet back on solid ground. And uh, we've are, we're already helping a lot of churches in that way. And uh, yeah, I'm just really excited to be a part of it. And I know we're going to talk about this too. Uh, we're adding to our staff. Uh, that's always really exciting when we can add to our staff. And so, um, yeah, that's where we are. The future's bright. Uh, I think God's got good plans in store for CSRM. Some of us are adding to our staff by sitting longer to the table, but we're actually expanding the number of our staff. And Let's let's dig a little deeper into that resources and relationships. How is that specifically happening? Tell us what's going on. Well, resources through things like this, uh, our podcasts and things, they, they continue to move forward. Uh, you might see some new faces associated with that, and we'll talk more about that here in just a second. Um, Greg, I think you're producing about three more books this year. Uh, there's so many new resources that are being uh, put out that way uh, in, in print. Um, through relationships, I kind of hinted at it, but we really want to see our roundtable ministry um, expand. We want to see churches all, all across really the world uh, gather up with sports ministers 
and uh, share a meal together, talk about some of these resources that we are producing, um, have a shoulder to, to lean on with different ideas that are happening with sports ministry, talk about some frustrations. I think we, we're finding in relationships that we are building with sports ministers, a lot of people are just are trying to figure out how to come out of COVID, uh, how to re-implement programming, or maybe some of their programming has changed, how to get people back into their sports ministry and more importantly, back into their churches. And so we really want to see the roundtable concept as something that's big moving forward. Of course, we're, we're going to continue to be a part of conferences Very uh, that's very important to us, especially our, our, our reach gathering that we've been a part of for, for many, many years. And so we want to see those things continue to develop uh, as we provide those resources and build those relationships. And the relationships as you mentioned, are in that area of, of some of the roundtables that are occurring in some cities or regions or maybe even states. Um, to share a little bit of that vision, and I know we're going to meet with one of our other, uh, our other staff guys here uh, that's going to help us a little bit with that as well, but what's the vision there? And I know there's a connection a little bit with REACH too, isn't there, in that yeah. regard? Yeah, and so we we heard a lot about that at Reach that there's just a real need. Um, in fact, some of the breakout sessions they were kind of split up by region, and the sports ministers they just want to gather together. Um, you know, no one understands a minister like a minister, and so uh, we've got experience right here on this podcast. Uh, different levels of experience. Greg, you've been around for a little bit longer than the rest of us, but we all have experience, and when we gather with others who are doing what we do, um, that shared wisdom, that shared experience can, can really help people. And so um, I think there was a real good um, uh, just feeling about that at reach and it's kind of spread. And CSRM wants to see roundtables replicated at least by region stateside. So we like to split it up at least four ways across our country, maybe even more where there are, um, church, there are sports ministers gathering at churches or restaurants, maybe once a month, maybe once every other month, and just talking about what's happening, what's the latest and greatest in, in ministry, what have we learned, um, where are we kind of struggling, and how can we learn from those struggles, what resources can CSRM um, hand out, and, you know, talk about some of these, these books or podcasts that are being um, put out there from CSRM. I think there's great opportunity for us to make sure that these ministers have what they need to be successful and to stay in ministry. I think we're seeing so many people exit ministry, um, e even prior to COVID, just because ministry is difficult. I think the, uh, the average length of, of ministry for a sports minister was somewhere around 18 months. Um, and I think a lot of people, they, they just, if they had someone to gather up with, to encourage them, um, to, to just kind of put their arm around them, maybe they would have stayed in ministry longer. Um, I think what I, I love about CSRM and what we want to see organized is, is also when these roundtables are, are organized, it isn't just people who are just starting out in ministry, but people who have different levels of their own experience and people maybe who moved on into different roles. Um, you know, I think about what I'm able to offer just because I've been in a few different roles in churches um, from a sports minister, even also as a senior pastor. It's, it's just helpful when, when we gather to be, to be able to share, hey, this, is, this might be what your senior pastor is thinking. And, and this is how that relationship can be strengthened or, um, you know, just, just lend that, that listening ear. Um, you know, I, I've already said it, but again, no one understands a minister like a minister. And so we want to see that replicated, especially stateside. Um, and we, we think our, our church relations efforts for roundtables will, will certainly help with that. And the other thing we've done in the past and we want to continue doing is uh, through um, coaching and consultation, uh, just help churches. Uh, you know, I've had an opportunity, Greg, I know you've done countless uh, coaching sessions with, with churches. There's opportunity for our staff to come and meet with you or meet with a sports minister or, or a, another staff member, elders, and just kind of hear what your vision is for sports ministry and how we can come alongside you and help you out that way. And 
let's just introduce briefly at this point, uh, Alston. And Alston has been brought on staff recently to help with these local regional roundtables, right? Alston, welcome to the to the uh, podcast. And we're, we're going to come to you in a little bit, but just say hello to folks. Hello, everybody. And yeah, I've been uh, brought on to help in with uh, some of the uh, roundtables and the church relations part of things. And I'm excited to get started. As are we uh, looking forward to it. And Alston and Dan, it, if somebody is listening to this, watching this, and they're saying, oh, a regional group, do I have one in my area? What do they do? Or if they want to start one, Dan, what, what would you, how would you direct them? Yeah, I would say reach out to us, go to our website, uh, email one of our staff members, and then we'll get you connected with Alston. In fact, at the recording of this podcast, this is Alston's official first day. So he's just getting started. Um, we probably don't have many of these roundtables yet, uh, but I know we're, we're looking to, to expand it. I just spoke with one of our associate staff members. who's probably going to begin one out west in Colorado. Um, of course, we have some more in the Midwest area. We want to see that spread to the southeast. Uh, Alston may help out with that because he's kind of in that area of, of the country. We want to see it in the Northeast. We want to see it out West. We want to see the whole thing just expand, but reach out to us. Our goal is by September to see several of these up and, and going. We know it's difficult to, to gather people in the summer because of camps and vacation Bible school and all that good stuff. But by, by this fall, we want to see several new roundtables started. But, but Dan, it's also international that there are people we've got uh, continental directors and a couple of different continents. We've got country di directors and all of these are indigenous leaders in those parts of the world. And so it, it doesn't have to be in North America. Obviously there's, there's a, a lot of us doing it here, but it's also, this is something that is not brand new to CSRM. We, we have done this in the past but these things have shelf life, so to speak. And whereas we had 20 of them so or so a number of years ago, uh, people leave jobs, they move across the country or the world, and we kind of got away from it. Uh, we just didn't rebuild all of that. But now Reach is saying that they want to do this more. And so there's probably, I'm guessing, Dan, you probably know better than I do, but six to 10 around the country between the combination of CSRM and REACH, and we're working hand in hand with that. Anything you want to comment on that, Dan? No, I, you're, you're absolutely right. It's it's so inspiring to hear what's happening all around the world. And our, our global efforts, uh, it's it's phenomenal. And the things that we know of, I'm sure there's a lot of things that we don't know of, of gathering and things like that. We can certainly help on that end also. And so if you're interested in learning more about that or starting something globally, reach out to us and we'll, we'll get you in touch with our, um, our, our director of international initiatives and we'll, we'll get you associated with that aspect of that country and uh, get some roundtables going there also if they're not already happening. Dan, let, let's wrap up this segment uh, with a little bit more about you. The, there's been a, uh, it hasn't been an absolute law or rule within CSRM, but there's been a, a preference for hiring people, so to speak, part-time. The goal has always been from the board that we don't hire somebody to come on staff at CSRM, they go full-time, and then they stop being connected to the local church and doing the, the things that are in the local area. And so I know you're planting a church. Uh, you know, I'm, I'm working with a few churches and intimately involved with one of them right now in a local area where we're just, we're continuing to be involved with these sports ministries. Uh, we feel like that helps keep us fresh, keeps us alert to what's happening, keeps us on a cutting edge. But Dan, just bring us up to date a little bit about with you. And I know you're planting a church and um, you've got three energetic kids and, and sometimes a very tired wife and dad because of those energetic kids, right? Yes, absolutely. They, uh, they keep us, young, I think. Uh, <laughs> or make us grow old. Or, or that. Yes. Yes. 
No, Greg, I, I love that, that vision. Anytime we, we hire someone, uh, more than likely, they're going to be connected with a local church, whether they're on staff or a key volunteer or an elder or deacon, something like that, but especially with sports ministry, because we want to make sure that we know what we're talking about, that we have some experience, and that we're connected because our heart is for the, the local church. And so, yeah, I'm, I'm planting a church right now. Um, obviously, long term, we're looking for some form or fashion of sports ministry. I have a guy, I have several people who are really into fitness and bodybuilding and stuff like that. And so we're, we're just going to start with a small group. Um, this guy has a gym in his basement and I'm just kind of coaching him. Hey, would you, would you be willing? I know you understand the, the fitness side of things, but would you be willing to invest in people spiritually? And so, uh, yeah, any connection that people have on our board or on our staff to the, to the local church is only to CSRM's benefit and to any church's benefit that, that we connect with because of all that experience. And we're pretty passionate about that. And so you're seeing uh, uh, some real significant things happen because you're doing both of these things. And I know there's, there's another few churches around the country that are being planted and a lot of how they're planting them is using sports rec and fitness to connect with those people. And, and so this again is some of what happens in these round tables and these building of relationships, if you will. Um, if somebody was out there, Dan, and they said, well, how can I deepen my relationship with CSRM? What would you say to them? Yeah, I'd say the, the best way is just to get connected. Uh, keep listening to these podcasts, things like that. Look at our store for some of our resources. Uh, send some emails. Um, keep, keep an eye out on our social media, uh, our newsletters, especially as, as we communicate roundtables and things like that. And Greg, I want to I circle back to something very briefly. Uh, you talked about some churches who are on the cutting edge of planting churches this way. Um, the guy, our, one of our associate staff members, his connection out west in Colorado, he's doing some coaching like this. In my roundtable here in Columbus, uh, at our last one last week, uh, I met for the first time two individuals who planted a church called Basketball Church, and it is exactly that. Uh, and I asked exactly what they did, and so they play basketball, they preach the gospel, and they share a meal. And they're doing amazing things. So these Sign things me up. Yeah, exactly. So these, these things can happen, and they're reaching people who would never darken the door of a church otherwise. Um, and so there's real opportunity. And so if we can help get you connected with people who are doing things like that, or just with CSRM in general, please connect with us, and we'll, we'll be happy to point you in the right direction. Well, we're, we're winding right down on this segment, and when we come back, we're going to talk a little bit more and hear a little bit more from Alston. Um, and we expect for his first day, he's going to just knock it out the park. And we're going to we're going to hear a little bit more about what those regional groups look like, those roundtables, what what happens and what can, what can happen. And and then we're going to also come back and also uh, be with Scott Stedman. And Scott has been brought on recently to help us with the other side of this, and that's the resource side. And we'll talk a little bit more with Scott about that. And Scott, welcome also. Glad you're with us as well. Thanks for having me. Yep. And Scott's doing a lot of the spinning of the dials, even as we speak for our, our podcast. So that's what's coming up in the next couple podcasts. So if you're interested in more about how to get connected in these ways with the regional roundtables, or beyond, and also with some of these resources. We've got some exciting things to share with you. So thanks for joining us in this uh, for this session, and tune in probably a week from now, and we'll we'll get you back uh, to the next day, to the, to the next stage of what we're going to talk about. Thanks to everybody. The CSRM Podcast is a production of CSRM and their production house, Overwhelming Victory. Dr. Greg Linville is the executive producer, and Scott Stedman is the associate producer and editor. To learn more about CSRM, visit csrm.org. 
For more information about Overwhelming Victory, visit overwhelmingvictory.org. The CSRM Podcast is the flagship member of the podcast network Overwhelming Victory Radio. For more information on Overwhelming Victory Radio or to listen to our partner podcasts, visit overwhelmingvictory.org backslash OV Radio. For CSRM Podcasts, I'm Mike Maloney. Have a blessed day.